Why can you never find your house keys? Somebody arrives at your house for a visit, so you go to open the door, but damn, it's locked. So then you naturally go to grab the keys to open the door. Yeah, this looks like the right key, but no matter which way you turn the damn thing, it won't open. You look for another set, and then you realise they're not on the hook where they usually are. Shit! Oh well, tough luck. Piss off and come back another day, sucker. Another problem that happens to people an awful lot is when you have your keys on you, but then you can't find them. So naturally, you must have put them down somewhere. Question is, where the hell is that somewhere? You start to search high and low, including ridiculous places you know for a fact the key won't be hiding. I mean, it's not likely you put it in with the Weetabix, is it? But hell, because you don't know where it is, you search everywhere you can think of. Hmm, maybe it's in the fish tank, or the fish have eaten it. Maybe not. After searching for what seems a lifetime and exhausting every possibility, you open up your hand, and there it is. Typical. After all that stressing around, you've earned yourself a beer, but why can you never find one? There's a box there, but no goddamn cans inside. That's just plain evil, leaving an empty box to torture people with. So, instead, you decide to have a yoghurt. But why can you never find another flavoured yoghurt other than strawberry? You can pretty much guarantee there's always a strawberry yoghurt in there, because nobody wants it. They want to have the cherry, or the peach, or anything but shitty strawberry. And look at this, how cruel is that? A six pack of yoghurt, but it's not a variety pack. No, it's bloody strawberry! Oh, and look, just to take the piss even more, there's a tub of fresh strawberries. How ironic.